Welcome to my tropical rainforest. Good morning, everybody. Tropical rainforest it is. Day number three of the tropical storm, hurricane, whatever's going on in the outside world. 100% um, wetness out here. Packed up in the misting rain this morning. It's still misting. And right now I'm beginning a 2,500 foot climb up to 4,000 feet. I'd mentioned about a, a 4,000 foot climb yesterday. And after reviewing gut hook and the elevation charts, looks like I'm going to have not only one, this morning, but depending upon how far I go later today, I could also be ascending to a second 4,000 foot peak. Looks like it on a graph. Um, that would put me at about 22 miles for the day. And just not sure if I'm feeling that after having the 20 yesterday. Feel pretty good. But in all the slop and slippery, greasy mess, just don't know what I'm going to run into. Put on all my wet clothes again this morning. Feet have been soaked for days. It is what it is. I'm trying to keep my feet aired out as much as possible to prevent trench foot. I certainly am looking forward to some sunshine. Being out in this type of moisture non-stop even though you're taking every precaution to keep your your sleep clothes dry all that dampness once you're inside the tent condensation inside the tent sooner or later everything is going to draw moisture so the past couple days my concern has been the drop in temperatures but that one night dropping into the high 40s but it is warming up already feels like it's 70 70 degrees this morning Already sticky icky. Onward and upward. Pushing north, everybody. Trying to keep a smile on my face. We'll get there. Mile 814.1, no view from the top of Coal Mountain, at least the rain has stopped for a few minutes. Headed towards the Sealy Woodworth Shelter, about two and a half miles out. I'm actually considering stopping there for the night. I think that would give me around a 15 or so. Uh, that morning climb of about 2,500 feet really kicked my butt. And my feet have been soaked for days now. We did have a slight break in the rain and I did stop 
and air my feet out a little bit, but they are still soaked. And I'm starting to feel them actually burn a little bit. I'm kind of afraid that they've been wet too long and I'm opening myself up to some possible problems. I would have loved to have pushed the 20 today. Still may do that, but I'm gonna hop in here to this next shelter, take a break, air my feet out again, and see where I stand. It's real nice to get a short break in the rain today because it's just, I guess this is day number three, maybe even four of rain. I can't even remember, but uh, yeah, just working to keep my mind in the right place. It stays like this, you know, it could be worse. It could be 30 couple degrees and rain, like when I was hiking back in February. Um, but it's, uh, I guess around 65, 70 right now. So it's really not too bad. I really can't complain too much. There's been some other hikers that have gotten off trail and have gone to some hostels and they had said that they'd even countered some roads that were flooded. Um, but anyway, hey, just making the best of it, trying to keep my mind in the right place. Thinking of, uh, sitting on the beach somewhere, maybe drinking a, a cranberry ginger ale with a shot of Jameson in it, a wedge of lime, a fine cigar. Oh, by the way, hey, I do want to mention, I've been in contact with Carhop. We've been texting back and forth now. He just came out of the Shenandoahs, still heading north. I don't know if I'm gonna have the legs to catch him, but one thing that we wanted to do from the start now, for those of you who have just joined me, he actually started with me. We didn't come to the trail together. However, we stepped off Springer together and we spent a few weeks hiking together. Real nice guy, car hop. I think he turned 70 on the trail. One thing we wanted to do was, we wanted to have a nice drink and a fine cigar sometime. So hopefully I can catch him if not, when I get to Pennsylvania, I have 50 couple miles that I am claiming that I had hiked while I was home um, on my break. And I did hike with my pack, all my gear, because it's my goal to carry my pack all the way. I'm trying to stay away from slack pack, and I haven't done that at all yet. So it's my goal to carry my pack all the way to Katahdin. And so we'll see. When I fast forward those 50 couple miles there's a chance I can catch him and in Pennsylvania there's a really cool place up in Hamburg called Cigar International it's one of my favorites to uh, buy my cigars and stuff like that and his too and they actually have a store in Hamburg and be great to connect with him they have an in-house bar and stuff like that we could sit and have a nice drink and a fine cigar it's something we've always wanted to do so uh, I know car hops family is watching I'm sure they're relaying some messages to him thinking about your brother I'm glad you're doing great but uh, I hope it's not raining where you're at right now brother so uh, anyway I'll quit babbling we'll check in here later everyone Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. All right, everybody, drop an anchor at the Sealy Woodworth Shelter. It's going to give us 15.8 miles for the day. And since all three of us, Rudy Hi. and Billy, yeah, you guys can actually see them. She's, I guess she's so. Come on now, your mom watches these videos. Hello, mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So we all started at the same shelter today, and uh, it rained all day with the exception of maybe two hours. We got a slight break, and then the sun played peekaboo once or twice. 
but it's just tearing our feet up. It's been, what, what is the girls, maybe the fourth day that it's been raining yeah. or the third day? All day, too. So uh, we decided to stop here, air our feet out a little bit. I'm not going to share any footage of the carnage on my feet right now, but I think it was a good decision to stop. So I'm going to get up, do it again tomorrow, and it's going to rain, rain, rain the next couple of days. So we're just going to make the best of it and keep pushing north. Thanks, everybody, for walking with me. Thanks for watching Wild on a Trail. Take care, everybody. Good night. Say good night, girls. Good night. Good night. Say good night, mommy. Good night, mom. Bye, mommy. <laughs> good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.